going on everybody? This is Seaspray here yet again to another Transformer review. Today we're going to take a look at Transformers Robots in Disguise Classic Series Legend Size Decepticon Trypticon. Of course this is a repaint from the Cybertron Legends Scourge. And just take a look at the back of the packaging here. Canadian bilingual packaging, of course. Looking not the greatest in my opinion. Very cool little guy. Um, I've had this guy since he came out and never opened him. I've only had one of him. Never bought a double. And I'm going to open him up now. So, without further ado, my friends, do a little 360 here. Woo! Okay, let's open this guy up. Okay, here we have Trypticon in his robot mode, I guess. I don't remember Trypticon ever having a robot mode, but uh, I don't remember Overkill having a robot mode either, right? So, go figure. Just a way to cash in, I think, but nonetheless, cool to repaint. Just take a look at this tiny little figure here. Sporting some gray and kind of a teal, purple, orange, pinky purple, white. It works, it works. It looks pretty cool, I think. White face going on, looking pretty cool. And uh, the really the only symbolic Trypticon trio is uh, really the, the three head, of course in the dragon mode but nonetheless these things do pop up to give them some menacing badass features not too bad uh... articulation for this guy his head can rotate 360 uh... the head is a little bit uh... stiff though <coughs> you just twist it around there B these babies can rotate 360 they're on ball joints and they can move in and out that's for transformation purposes elbows can move in and out and they can rotate 360, but that's for transformation purposes. Legs can go in and out pretty good. They can move side to side slightly. And no knee movement, but he does have some feet movement. They're all little ball joints to move 360 all the way around, of course. And uh, this head moves it's on a little ball joint, and this whole piece does rotate up. That's for uh, transformation. So, since I've been saying transformation a lot, Let's transform him. So first off, what you want to do, you can just bring down the legs and the tail pieces here. You can, well, this piece is already rotated around. You can take this one, bring it around. You can rotate the head around. Bring this around. And you can just pop it down there, as you can see. Nice coloring, hides the face. And here you go, in his dragon mode, but Trypticon had a, kind of like a Godzilla reptile mode, and it turned into a city, if you're not too familiar with the, the Trypticon name. But here we have the namesake. I like this guy a lot, actually. Cool little dragon there. Head can rotate 360, it's on a little ball joint. Nice little detailing on the face. The mouth looks like it can open, but it doesn't from what I can see. But it's cool, it's, they didn't like make it one mold and kind of just paint over it. It does have, you can kind of see through it slightly, which is kind of cool. Um, eyes aren't really painted, but not a big deal. And of course, again, these things can move up and down to give the trio Hydra dragon head thing. And that's about it. Movement's all the same, articulation's all the same. Okay, so two transformers back. Bring these heads up. Bring all this down. Bring the head up. Rotate it 180 to the front. Bring the arms up. Rotate the forearms to the front. Bring down the legs. Bring down the tail, bring it to the back, and there you go. Okay, so this is Sea Spray. Thanks for checking out my little review on Classics Legends Trypticon. Alright guys, till next time, I'll catch you later. <laughs>